What's up guys, this is Sunny back with another video. To the real quick I'm making this video so basically I can share with you guys one of the product I received from a brand called uh, Nextly and the model we have here Nextly Verda. This capture card can output 1080p 60Hz so 1080p uh, 60 fps uh, definitely good for gaming and also this capture card can input 4k 30 so that doesn't mean uh, this capture card will output 4k 30 most likely the 4k uh, signal will be downscale to 1080p and then will be output to whatever a uh, streaming uh, platform you're planning on using like Twitch or Mixer or YouTube or Facebook and also works with uh, OBS Studio and seems pretty interesting so I was like you know what let me make a video for you guys so I can share with you guys my thoughts and if this capture card is any good then from now on I'll use this capture card maybe for my next uh, guide so let me open this box and show you guys what this capture card comes with so here we have the capture card i'll show you guys let me show you guys what else we have it does come with a cable okay it does come with a cable right here uh usb c to usb a uh, this cable is quality pretty thick and long enough okay and we have a we have a thank you card and user manual all right so now let me show you guys the card itself because you know we gotta do the unboxing that's like really really important okay wow this card is really small uh, as you guys can see right here not all that big really tiny okay you have the uh, nextly uh, branding the front with the logo and then you guys can see uh, video uh, branding back of the card okay and let's look at the ports real quick so we have here two HDMI uh, ports right here uh, in and out okay and then we have 3.5 headphone port right here and then we also have USB type C uh, USB 3.1 gen 1 so that's uh, 5 gigabit per second yes all right now this capture cord is definitely smaller uh, compared to my uh, Elgato HD 60S uh, right here. Not bad. Okay. Does feel lighter compared to my Elgato HD 60. And if you guys are wondering how big is this capture card, actually, uh, 2.5 inches by 2.5 inches, and the thickness is around 0 0.5 inches. Now, let me connect this capture card to my Apple M1 Mac Mini and after that i'll use ovs to record uh the next part of the video all right guys so i did plug this nextly capture card to my apple m1 mac mini so you guys can see right now i am uh, recording this portion of the video with ovs actually i'm not recording with the ovs right now i'm actually uh using real-time uh, player to just screen capture OVS right now so you guys can see because I want to show you guys OVS settings also so I did plug the uh, cameras HDMI uh, cable to uh, the capture card uh, HDMI in port and I have the USB-C uh, cable connected right here going to my M1 uh, Mac mini all right okay and now I want to show you guys the settings I'm using for this uh, capture card now this setting will apply to let's put it this way like Elgato HD uh, 60s capture card also or maybe any other capture card all right so first let me show you guys the video 
capture device setting right here okay let's go to setting so you guys can see the device name HDMI uh, capture and make sure you uncheck use preset because by default uh, resolution shows here 720 but currently I have the camera set to 1080p 30 so I want to make sure the resolution is here 1080p 30 also and the FPS is 30 right here right now you guys can play around with the input format setting color space setting or video range setting I just left everything default okay that's about it okay now let's go to uh, settings here and let's go under uh, stream tab here now let's put this way if you're planning on uh, streaming on twitch okay what you can do basically you pick the service twitch and then server just set to auto recommended and make sure you get your stream key from your twitch account simple as that same goes for youtube get your uh, stream key from your youtube account and same goes for facebook also now let's go to output real quick now you guys can see under output i have output mode set to simple and video bit rate set to 35 kbps now whenever i'm making a talking head video or like a guide video and i'm live streaming i set the video bit rate to around 3500 now if i'm playing a game okay and i'm live streaming a game then i make sure i set the bit rate to 4500 and that also depend on your upload speed and if you are uh, streaming and you are planning on recording same time make sure you set the recording format to mp4 now let's look at the video tab right here so you guys can see we have our base resolution and the output resolution set to the same 1080p you need to do that if you're planning on let's briefly say uh, live streaming 1080p because by default under the video setting you will see let's be this a base 1080p and then output is 720p you want to set both of these resolution to same and make sure also your common fps value is same if you're playing a uh, 60 fps game make sure you set your uh, common fps value to uh, 60 also so currently i'm recording with my panasonic lumix g7 resolution set to uh, 1080p 30 so i want to make sure here i have my base resolution set to uh, 1080p and output resolution set to 1080p and also my common fps value set to 30 and that's about it guys simple as that and you guys can see how well this capture card is working and you guys can see the quality I'm really impressed with this capture card now if you guys want me to test this capture card with my gaming PC and maybe test like streaming and also see how well this capture card record the game because sometimes we do uh, you know record portion of the game for our uh, gaming benchmark and stuff so if you want me to test all that please let me know uh, in the comment section I'll be more than happy to uh, make a part 2 video but overall, I think this capture card is really good for the money. And also this capture card doesn't feel too hot. Okay. Warm, but not too hot. Alright guys, uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any question, leave your question in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer you guys. And uh, you'll find the link in the video description for this uh, Nextly Verda uh, capture card. Um, you can use my Amazon affiliate link. You know, you guys will help me if you do use my Amazon affiliate link. I'll get, you know, a little kickback. And uh, yeah, that should be it. See you guys next one. Peace.